brilliant day and I am absolutely delighted that government is demonstrating its recognition of our nuclear sector. Um, I was particularly pleased to see the reference to 40% more females working in the industry by 2030 and I hope the Minister will join with me in acknowledging the work that the Women in Nuclear does and also the barriers because often these nuclear licensed sites are in coastal rural locations where childcare, affordable, um, flexible and high quality childcare is simply not available at the moment. So I hope he would work with me in improving that in my own constituency. He talks of the 87,500 workers in the nuclear industry. In Cumbria, we have 27,000 of those. We are absolutely the centre of nuclear excellence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the uh, member for Copeland, uh, who has been assiduous in campaigning on this issue since he joined the House, makes a very good point around the commitment to increase the number of women working in this particular sector. That is a significant commitment and one that we are determined to deliver on. Uh, more generally, are for Cumbria, that um, a major component of the deal is around supporting lower cost decommissioning through advanced manufacturing techniques. So Cumbria is set to benefit as it host Sellafield, which employs, as the Honourable Member said, several thousand people and is leading on some of the most complex decommissioning challenges.